Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to add payment methods in WordPress. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you add your payment methods in WordPress here? Well, adding one is pretty easy. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to access your admin page for your web WordPress website. Now, in this case, what we need to do next here is we need to install a plugin. So in this case, at the left side here, you want to go to plugins and you want to go ahead and click on the add a new plugin option here. Now, in this case, uh, let's go to add a new plugin here. So again, uh, what we need to do is we need to install an app or a plugin for this one. So since I'm assuming you've already installed WooCommerce here for WordPress, we need to install a bunch more. So in this case, you want to go to your plugins here and just type in WooCommerce. Now it's going to give you different options here to uh, basically use, but what we are looking for is going to be the payment method that actually WooCommerce allows us to use. So in this case, we have a bunch here. So for example, for WooCommerce, you could actually install the WooCommerce Stripe pay payment gateway option here, which in this case allows you to use Stripe as a way to pay for different transactions. So it actually connects your WooCommerce account or your WordPress website here to your, in this case, Stripe account. Now you also have the WooCommerce people payments, which in this case allows you to accept PayPal payments into your website. But the, again, there's going to be some setups I need to do here. So in this case, go ahead and install those. So if you already installed them, go ahead and click on the update buttons here and basically update the actual apps and set uh, again. So once the apps is installed, what we need to do is you need to activate the following apps. So go ahead and just click on activate them. But once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to go to settings here. Oh, sorry, you want to go to plugins and you want to go to your, let's just go to plugins here. Just click on plugins and you should be able to see WooCommerce or in this case, uh, Stripe. So WooCommerce, uh, Payable Payments and Stripe Gate uh, Gateway. So make sure that they are actually activated here. But once you've done that, what we need to do is we now need to go to WooCommerce at the left side here. And under WooCommerce, what we need to do next is we need to go to our settings. Now, in, the, in settings, you should be able to see a section here that says payments. So go ahead and click on payments. And from here, you should be able to see all the payment methods that is available for your account, or in this case, for WooCommerce. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to enable the payments that you want to use. So we want to scroll down a bit here. And as you can see, we have Stripe and PayPal. Now, the thing here is by default, they will be disabled. So you need to basically turn them on. And you also need to finish the setup process here. Now, as you can see, since I've pressed on Stripe here, it's going to redirect me into the Stripe section, which in this case allows me to basically connect my Stripe account here. So in this case, you could either select one of here. So if you I don't have like a Stripe account yet, you can go and choose the create or connect an account here, which in this case uh, will do everything for you uh, automatically. You just need to log in or create your account here. And they will ask you to perform a few things, confirming some details. But in this case, this will actually connect your uh, you walk your WooCommerce or your WordPress website into Stripe and basically you will be able to start receiving card payments. Now, you could also use the manual way here, which is the create or connect a test account instead. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And from here, you could just basically uh, start using the test mode here, which in this case, you could go and click on skip this form here. And this allows you to uh, basically go to the test form instead and basically fill out some details and do or perform a few things. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to actually go back here. Let's go back into settings here. So I want to go to payments. And in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to click on the manage option here. And again, you should be able to start managing your website or your payments here via this way here. So in this case, this allows you to choose what payment methods you actually allow on your Stripe account. You have your credit card, debit card, Alipay, uh, Klarna, and Afterpay. So uh, in this case, you go and allow whatever you want here. You could even go to settings here and you should be able to see some of the information that you need. So in this case, you need to configure a few things. So if you want to enable Stripe here, enable test mode, so if you want to test this first, and you want to also connect your account here. So in this case, you want to go to configure connection. So in this case, you want to click on create or connect a test account here. And again, you need to enter your email address, basically complete the whole process here. 
Now, in such cases, for example, if you want to use PayPal only, you, you should do be, or you should be able, be able to do the same thing here. Which in this case, you need to go to WooCommerce, go to Settings, and you want to go to Payments again. Now, instead of accessing your uh, Stripe account here, what we need to do is we need to access PayPal, and you want to click on Finish and Set It Up. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you to connect your account, which in this case, just basically logging in into your account. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we have to either have a business or a casual uh, type of account for people. So if you, you don't have an account yet, you can create your own first. And you have your seller protection here. They are, uh, or also provide that. And you have the pre-built user experience as well. In this case, you can go and click on the activate PayPal here, or you could go ahead and click on test payments with PayPal Sandbox. Now, if you want to test first, you go and do that. But if you want to activate it, just click on activate PayPal, and from here, you just need to log in and perform a few things. And they might they might actually ask you to well, do a basic confirmation or verification here. They might ask you for your ID if you haven't provided it, uh, if you haven't verified your account yet. But in this case, you just need to enter email here, your country, region for your PayPal account, and your password, and hit on next and follow the on-screen steps here to basically activate your PayPal account. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.